Mr. Heffern here, and here's a video on speed. Okay, speed is generally how fast or slow an object is moving. For example, this car here is moving at 200 kilometers per hour. And the variable for speed is V. Please do not use S, as that normally means seconds, and uh, there's a lot of seconds being used in, in physics. In French, uh, speed is vitesse, in Spanish, velocidad, and in Italian, velocidad. So uh, V seems to be the chosen variable, please don't use S. So for example, the uh, speed of this time machine is 88 miles per hour. Okay, the scientific units for, uh, or the scientific international units for speed are uh, meters per second. And as you can see, uh, it's meters divided by seconds. So that hints at what the formula would be. Speed is your distance in meters divided by time in seconds. Usually, traditionally, it's written as delta D over delta T, or uh, if you add a laziness, prefer to omit the delta signs, that's fine by me. Okay, so the common units, the metric common units are kilometers per hour, and the common imperial units used in the United States are uh, miles per hour or feet per second. Now, since there's around, there are 1,000 meters in one kilometer and 3,600 seconds in an hour, 60 minutes by 60 seconds, if we take those numbers, uh, 3,600 divided by 1,000, we get a magic conversion number of 3.6. And there's approximately 1.6 kilometers in a mile, and therefore the approximate conversion number for miles per hour in meter and uh, kilometers per hour is 1.6. It's not exact though, it's just approximate, good enough for our course. So one meters per second is 3.6 kilometers per hour, and 1.6 kilometers per hour is around one mile per hour. Just on a side note, FPS, feet per second, when you buy a paintball gun, it's rated in uh, feet per second. And strangely, uh, if you play an FPS, first person shooter, you're, you may be using paintball guns. Okay, extreme units. The extreme speed, uh, speed scientists may compare an object to a speed of sound or the speed of light. So the uh, speed of sound is called Mach and the speed of light is called C. So the speed of light is uh, approximately 300 million meters per second, or around 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. And that works out to be Mach 880,000, so uh, light's about 880,000 times faster than sound. Okay, Mach 1 is around 341 meters per second, which works out to be about 1,227.6 kilometers per hour. So if you're doing Mach 2, that means you're doing 2 times 341 meters per second. And if you're doing 0.9c, or 90% the speed of light, that's 0.9 times 300 million, and that would be 270 million meters per second. Okay, so here's a few examples. Uh, example 1, a uh, person, Usain Bolt, fastest person on the planet in 2017. Mr. Bolt ran the 100 meter dash in 9.59 seconds. Find his speed. So uh, we're going to write, we're going to fill in the formula. So here's the formula, here's the picture. 100 meters divided by 9.59 seconds. Mr. Bolt averaging 10.43 meters per second. And if you want the common units for that, we're just going to multiply by that magic number I mentioned before, 3.6. And we get a final answer of 37.5 kilometers per hour. So that means uh, Mr. Bolt is not going to get a ticket for running too fast in front of a school zone. Here's another example here. We got a truck traveling 212 meters, oh, sorry, kilometers from Barrie to Niagara Falls in two hours and six minutes. What is the average speed of the truck? Okay, so first of all, six minutes is 0.1 hours. So that's 2.1 hours altogether. So we're going to get 212 kilometers divided by 2.1 hours. That's 101 kilometers per hour. So now if you want to go to scientific units, we're going to divide by 3.6. And that works out to 28.0 meters per second. Okay, third example. We got a plane traveling at 950 kilometers per hour in speed from New York City all the way to Los Angeles, which is approximately 4,499 kilometers apart. How long would that take? So, we're just going to rearrange our formula. We're going to cross multiply the D and the, the V. And we get T equals this distance over speed. So we got our 4,499 kilometers divided by 950 kilometers per hour. 
And so we get this huge decimal answer, 4.73579 hours. So we got our four hours. So if on my calculator I subtract four, I'll be left with 0 0.73579. I'm going to multiply that by 60, and it's going to be 44 point something minutes. So I'm going to subtract the 44 on my calculator and get point something something something. Multiply that by 60, and I get 8.8 .8 seconds. So 4 hours, 44 minutes, and 8.8 .8 seconds. Okay, one last example. An Apollo rocket flies from the Earth to the Moon at Mach 34. So back in 1969 to 1972, we had ships flying from the Earth to the Moon at this speed. It takes 9.2 hours, okay, if they, uh, if they go straight, which is pretty dangerous, find the distance. So, speed is distance over time, and so we got, um, if you rearrange the equation, bring the, the t up, you get dt, flip the equation over, distance is speed times time. So we're going to get uh, 41,738 kilometers per hour times 9.2 hours, so the distance to the moon is 384,990 kilometers. Okay, so in summary, speed is a scalar value. There's no direction involved. and describes how fast or slow an object is moving. Average speed is calculated by just taking the distance and divided by the time. And the units for speed are, scientifically, meters per second, common units, kilometers per hour, and you may also use Mach or C. And that's it. Hopefully this was informative.